guys were going to be making some good old fashioned New Orleans style barbecue shrimp for Soul Food Sundays. Coming this up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. All right, so what are we doing here today? Guys, we are going to be making some beautiful, wonderful, amazing, full of flavor, tasty barbecue shrimp. And this has nothing to do with the grill or barbecue sauce or any of that stuff. This is the classic New Orleans dish that I'm making for Soul Food Sunday. All right, so Soul Food Sunday is all about cooking from the heart, real deep, loving recipes. Soul food don't know nothing but your heart and what's in your tummy, all right? This is the last video in the Soul Food Sunday uh, series. You know, we're at the end of the month. We're gonna come up with a new series soon, so stay tuned, all right? But good old fashioned, New Orleans style barbecue shrimp, all right? I'm gonna get you over to my kitchen island. We're not gonna over talk it, as my boy AB says. We're gonna get to work on this bad boy right now. So what we have here is already some peeled shrimp. We left the tails on, but that's it, peeled into vein, right? So we're gonna use our shells to start making a little uh, reduction sauce for this. So we're gonna put this over on the stove. Next thing we're gonna do is get these uh, Get these a little marinating, if you will. We're gonna add probably about a healthy tablespoon of cracked black pepper. We got two sprigs of chopped up rosemary. And we got this Creole kick from Sweet Smoky Joe. You could use any Cajun seasoning you like. We're gonna go in with about a tablespoon of that too. Sweet Smoky Joe's is some really good Cajun style seasonings. I dig them. Get these mixed up. And just set these aside. Ooh, the cayenne in there. A little Cajun cooking. A little cayenne, cayenne, cayenne cooking. Where's old Justin Wilson when we need him? All right, so we're gonna let these chill out, absorb some of that good flavor. Let's get on the stove. Okay, as we're starting to make our little reduction here, a little sauce, if you will, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in there. And we're gonna get Get our shells in there. And then we're just gonna toast these off a little bit. Get that essence out of there, get some flavor going. Okay, we got these working a little bit here. Got a little, little toast to them. Gonna add about a half a cup of white onion. Now, here's the deal. This isn't technically traditional, traditional for this dish, but I love some sweet peppers in there, some bell peppers. So I got another about a half a cup of this in there. So it's going in. Then we're gonna toss in some garlic. It's about four cloves, four small cloves. Right, just start working that, let it saute through, get those flavors mixing. Okay, we got this nice and sauteed through, extracted all the good flavors out of there. Now we're gonna build this sauce, all right? Got about a fourth of a cup of Worcestershire. You can use more if you like. A cup of white wine. Some of Sonoma's best. I mean, you gotta try it, right? And then we're gonna go three cups of high quality H2O. And then we're gonna add a few dashes of Louisiana hot sauce. Again, if you like it hot, make it hot. That's just a few dashes, feeling good. Got the hot sauce in there. Now we're gonna add the juice of two lemons. I'm using a little sieve to catch it. Okay, that's done. So now we're just gonna let it mix a little bit, come together. We got it on medium heat, and we're just gonna let it reduce for about 30 minutes. Let all those flavors come together. Oh, it's gonna be good eating. All right, come on back. 
All right, guys, we have this is reduced is about as much as we want it to. So we're going to strain this off and just get the juice done or just keep the juice, the reduction, and we'll start cooking the shrimp. All right, now it's time to get the shrimp cooking. We're going to cook them about halfway through, and then we'll add our reduction back to it and get it going. I got some beautiful U15 shrimp right here. We're just going to get them cooking. Okay, so we got these ready to go. About halfway cooked, I'm gonna flip them over, get just a little bit of a sear on that one side, and then we'll add our reduction to it. Okay, we're good and seared in there. We're gonna add our reduction to it, and we'll finish the cooking this way. We're gonna add a couple, three tablespoons of butter in there too, because you know, butter makes it all better. Okay, and just let it finish off. Okay, we're over here, we're getting ready to plate these bad boys up. So I'm gonna put a bunch of shrimp in here, make it all fancy like, and then we'll pour the juice on. Okay, we got our shrimps all added in there. Let's add a little bit of that lovely juice in there. I'm gonna gussy it up a little bit with some of these peppers. Hit it with a little bit of hot sauce. Always got to hit it with the green onions. That's the dish. All right, come on back for the taste test. All right, guys, we're done. You got to understand how good it smells in here right now. Tons of flavors happening. Guys, we're going to try a bite of this shrimp right now. And I tell you, it's going to be damn good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's the stuff right there. Mm. Little heat, not bad. Got that citrus, got a lot of butter. You know the butter's good for you. Mm. That's amazing, guys, you gotta try this. And while you're at it, click that hashtag below. Go see Smoking and Grilling with AB, Soul Food Cooking, everybody who's involved with hashtag Soul Food Sunday. Give it a go. Guys, if there's anything in my video you want to purchase, like cutting boards, knives, anything like that, click the links down below little affiliate action for you helps out the channel you don't pay anything more with it and actually there's a couple coupon codes down below if you use those you get a percentage off too so and if you want to become a show producer click this link right here become a show producer get your name on the end of my videos be immortalized forever in shrimpy goodness all right that's it for this week guys have a wonderful week thanks for stopping by thanks for cooking with cj take care